Hello everyone, this is Askar Nazir. Today I will show you how to install IntelliJ on your Mac machines. IntelliJ is a piece of software that we will be using to write our code. To install the IntelliJ, first we need to download it. So open up your favorite browsers. I will be using Google Chrome, but you can use any browser. Open up your browser and then go to Google and type IntelliJ and hit enter. So once you see the results, make sure that you are clicking on this link that is from jetbrains.com. Click on the download button from here. Depending upon if you are using a different search engine, you might see the results differently. Just make sure that the link is from JetBrains. You simply have to scroll down a little and then you will see IntelliJ Community Edition. Remember, Community Edition is the free version that we will be using. This above one, it's the ultimate version, which is paid. So we will not be using this one. So click on the download button here and then wait for your download to complete. I have already downloaded it. So I will not be downloading it again. Once the download is complete, you will see something like this show in folder. If you don't see this option, you can also go to your finder and uh, you can find the downloaded file under this downloads folder. So once you have this file, simply double click on this file and then drag and drop this to your applications folder. This will install the IntelliJ on your Mac machine. Once the installation is complete, go to your Spotlight search and simply type IntelliJ here and hit enter. This will open up the IntelliJ. When you will be opening the IntelliJ for the first time, it will be asking you for some permissions. So uh, allow it. And also remember this screen that I'm seeing here, you will not be seeing this screen because I have already installed IntelliJ on my machine. So I see this screen. Most of you who are downloading the IntelliJ for the first time, you will see something like this when you will first open up the IntelliJ. So this, this first field, it's asking for the name of the project. So let's enter Java basics. And then you don't need to touch anything else, but we do need to install the JDK. I have already installed the JDK. That's why I see this 11 Amazon Corito version here. You will not be seeing this option you will see a red error here that no JDK is installed. So you have to download it. And it's very simple. Simply click on download JDK. And then it will show you some options. By default, it will load the latest JDK, which is 20. We will not be using this one. We will be using an older one, which is 11. So make sure that all of you select the version 11 from here. And then you click on download. Once you do that, it will take some time to download and install the JDK on your computer. I have already downloaded it and installed it. So I will be simply clicking on the cancel button. So once you see the name Corito 11 in front of this JDK, and once you have given the name to your project, then you can click on the create option. Also, when the IntelliJ will load for the first time, it might take some time to index the files. So you can see the progress. Let me make it full screen. You can see the progress on your right bottom corner here. Let it do its things, downloading, indexing, and installing things. And once it is ready, then you can start writing your code. So the indexing is complete. And now this is what I see in front of me. This area is called editor. And this one on the left is called Project Explorer. So for now, we will only be checking this editor area. And IntelliJ has already written a piece of code for me in which we are simply trying to print Hello World on the console. So you simply have to click on this play button here and then run main.main. .main. This will run this code and you should see the output in the console, whatever you put inside these double quotes, you should see this in the console. Now, if you see the output, that means you are good for your first class. You don't need to do anything else. In the next videos, I will be showing you how to navigate the IntelliJ and how the basic operations are performed. For now, that's it. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Take care.